energy, elastics and springs. Before we start this topic, there are a few words that we need to know. One of them is stretch. Stretch means to pull something to make it longer. Compress, to squash or squeeze something to make it flat. Release, to let something go. Twist, to wind something around. Energy, elastics and springs. When we talk about elastics and springs, we learn about two types of energy, which is stored energy and movement energy. Here are some elastic bands. In figure one, they are not used for any work. But when we stretch one of them in figure two, we give it stored energy. This stored energy changes to movement energy when we release the elastic band. So, when we stretch the elastic band, it has stored energy. And when we release the elastic band, it has movement energy. We can use the stretch elastic band to make a piece of paper fly across a room. When we stretch the elastic band, it has stored energy. When we release the elastic band, the stored energy changes to movement energy. The same happens when we use a catapult or a slingshot. When we stretch the catapult, we give it stored energy. When we release the catapult, the stored energy changes to movement energy. There it is, stretched and released. The stored energy from the elastic band is transferred to the stone when the stone moves across the room. A twisted elastic band also has stored energy. When the twisted elastic band is released, the stored energy changes to movement energy. If you look at the picture, there's a twisted elastic band. There's another twisted elastic band. To compress means to squeeze or to squash. We use compressed springs in click pens and in mattresses. If you look at the pen, there's one spring there and there's another spring there. We compress the spring when we click the pen and then the spring is released. If you look at the mattress, it has springs. When we compress a spring, it has stored energy. When we release the spring, the stored energy changes into movement energy. That is why it is so much fun to jump on a bed. This is Slinky, a toy spring. When it is compressed and released, it can move downstairs. This is a jack in a box. When we turn the handle on the side, we compress the spring. The compressed spring has stored energy. When the lid is open, the stored energy changes to movement energy and the jack jumps up. That's the handle. The same thing with a trampoline. A trampoline also works with springs. Those are the springs. There are many other toys that work with wound up springs and elastics. All of them with stored energy which changes to movement energy. There is a wound up spring which is put inside these toys. There and there and there. Remember, wind-up toys need no batteries. They work with springs. Stored energy is changed to movement energy. 
Stored energy is also called potential energy and movement energy is called kinetic energy. But you will learn more about this when you go to grade 7.